You know what? <clears throat> I'm gonna play a different game. I love Smash Brothers, but I'm gonna play a different game. I say a different one, I mean exactly the same damn thing. It'll be shorter that way. It'll be going later. <clears throat> Happens every morning when I have stuff in my throat. When I cover myself too much in blankets. This time this is gonna be a shorter video. Cause it's already seven fifty one. Okay, I don't care who I play as, as long as we do this quickly as possible. Makes me wish that the Xbox One wasn't working, I would play Yoko Laylee. Lee and Yoko Lee in a possible lair. I'm playing like on the Switch here. Damn it. Careful. I really don't got much else to say since I done this many times already. Sure it's fun at first. What the Let's try again. Kinda hate when the arrow doesn't point out to where you're supposed to go. Oh, it gets confusing. <sighs> Let's try again. This time I'll probably make this fully 20 minutes of gameplay. Gotta follow the arrows. Since Nickelodeon's already rebooting every cartoon from their old 90s shows. I'm still thinking about they should reboot Tech and the Power of Juju. It's already been like 10 long years now. It's like nobody cares. Damn it. Alright. I actually like, um, Hey Arnold, the Jungle movie better than the first one we got. I would not say Hey Arnold, well, the movie, the first one, is bad. It's kind of mediocre at best. Sure, the animation looks good, but not as great and memorable with the other characters. I do remember Arnold gets like different types of voices.
It kind of reminds me of that one time that I had to keep on watching the one with Monkey Man and several times of a superhero. That Monkey Man that did appear like a few times in the series, including the movie. And most likely the Jungle movie. He keeps on saying his name multiple times, but he says that more talks like a normal person. I do want to hate Arnold a few more times back then. When I say back then, I meant like pretty much like months ago or a year now. I mean, people talk about like, saying old Nickelodeon shows that haven't been said for a long time, but the only time there was like a slightly Hey Arnold video game was the one based off the movie. And I would say the video game is slightly better than the movie. Damn it! Just when I was explaining the rest, I missed it. I don't know if any of you watch like, um... Anyone play like the Hey Arnold... Movie video game for the Game Boy Advance? Because that's the only one they did. Besides this one and the kart racing games. For the PlayStation 1. I'm just saying. Yeah, and if they're going to do a video game based off Nick William movies, or most likely ones from the TV show, make sure they're good. Too bad the first one, like Rock Goes Modern Life on the Super Nintendo, sucks. So, do not play it. And you'll find out why on YouTube's gameplay. Look it up. More of this. Yeah, I'm watching the arrows. Ow. We well, killed them to put some voice acting in this game. But in the sequel, I think they did. Probably won't get the sequel anytime soon. Gravity World from Spongebob. <laughs> Crap. There's like times like this I wish this game had more Nicktoon racers like Ren and Stimpy or Cat Dog. Or some of the wayside characters that nobody remembers watching. Those of you who don't know what wayside is, it's pretty much about, well, kids being, well, weird. There is a wayside movie from 2007, and I was kind of disappointed that the movie is 49 minutes long on how many times I had to watch it. There's like a good boy named Todd who ends up in a different type of school called Wayside. There's like Matisha, that Matricia, Makar, the girl with the purple hairdo. There's a nerdy girl 
Name museum. <sighs> Not thinking right. Who's smart and a baby boy? Hey, watch it. Who acts like a man baby and wants to have air and for attention to be present at the wayside. And the principal, who's also needy too, but most likely an idiot. Also, there's a teenager that wears sandals, works at technology stuff. Mrs. Jules, that's obviously the teacher that learned about science and stuff like that. There's also a girl that always sleeps all the time named Sherry. Why does she sleep all the time? Because that's... They do like late night karate style. Just look it up and you'll see what I mean. About the show called Wayside. Eh, still got like, well, probably eight and a half minutes by the time we reach up to 12. Not bad. Not bad at all. Whoops. I did that a little too fast. Alright, I'll be her. The quicker we do this, the quicker I can end the video in 20 minutes. Yeah, those of you ever heard about Wayside? It's kind of an interesting, funny, goofy, silly show. And I actually love it that way, because of the odd-looking characters. I mean, when I watch Wayside the movie, it's just about... A big huge dumpster thing that's about to crush them. And they keep ignoring Todd until almost like 40 minutes into the movie. And that he was telling the truth. And every time he messed things up, he'll end up in a kindergarten bus. Gotta see the music in this game and background look pretty nicely done for the Switch. And I missed it. Oh, there's a robot from Fight Dent Robotic Revenge. Anyways. I don't know if any of you people ever watch Wayside like I do at times. Because whenever I'm feeling bored and there's not much else to watch, I put on Wayside and it's pretty good. Really, really great. It's funny, it's weird. And I actually like it that way. Hmm, <laughs> get it because I said the word way. Anyways, I mean... Anyhow, yeah. Sure, some of the animation they did on the show got a little cheap with the Flash animation. I kind of like the... Let's Scrabble part where she turns everybody into most likely apples and the kid with the glasses, the fat one, into a potato. I 
the reason why stupid robot. Letitia, whatever the hell her name is, becomes like the toughest tomboy as she was. I mean, she started out being nice at first. And then Mrs. Gobble turned her friends into basically her pet hedgehog. I'll get into a pineapple. I mean, it does say about the backstory how she became what she is. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the entire episode in a nutshell, so yeah. Those of you who watched Wayside before, not again. Go ahead and check it out, it's totally worth your time. Like I have right now. Miss me. Eh, sick of place, I'll take it. Alright, let's try one more track, since we're almost up to 20 minutes. Not to waste too much time, I'm just gonna go ahead and select this one. And I'll be... let's see... Sandy. There. And Jen with Hey Arnold on it. I mean, I do watch some of the Nicktoons. When I say some, I meant most of the time. Because I kind of like watching more of this meme more than the, the freaking um, Nickronian cartoons. And I would not say a Doug does not count. Those of you already watched the Doug show, it's kind of an alright show. I mean, it's only about a kid that goes up to college. That's pretty much it. And then they did like Doug's first movie. Yeah, it was actually alright. Except for an astounding critic complaining about it on how much it sucked in the up. Don't believe me? Look it up. Okay, it's 809, just making sure. And I missed another one. Gotta say the state doesn't look half bad. You son of a gun. I was gonna make it the first place and he pushed me on the side. Go, 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 go.
I mean, I'm just saying that they're gonna reboot like seeing the same old thing we saw every bloody year. They could at least reboot Tag of the Power Juju show. I actually love watching that weird show. But I guess that's not gonna happen at all. I really don't know what else to talk about while I'm still racing in this game. Makes it sounds great. Kind of. Just avoid those powers, I guess. I'm just seeing... Splinter and Shredder fighting. I mean, we're in the Team and T stage after all. Alright, go, go, go. Maybe Ray Aron will just play a different game that's... ...gets my attention. Well, I had another... ...sour apple for breakfast. So, yeah, um... Doesn't matter, I win. Freaking jerk wand. Alright. Huh, I'm almost there. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to cut this one short. I'm sure I could make this one a little bit longer, but I'm gonna get going in a couple of minutes. So hold on, let me just move this right here. This game had a demo to show you. Does it show a demo? Because older games do that. Um. No, damn it. Also, I kind of like how the tab when it's not looking straight at the Freaking switch just on the other side of it. Look straight at it. Look straight at the freaking. Look straight at the freaking. What the hell? Anyways, I'm gonna see if they got any different games at well, probably Easy Pawn or Jumpin' Jack Cash. And believe me, it does take a while for me to walk all the way over there. It takes me like 40 minutes. Or Easy Pawn, I think it takes me like 20 minutes to walk all the way over there. It depends on how much weight I have. I haven't checked my weight on a long, in a very long time. I'm about to check on the scale. Last time I checked, I think I weighed like about like freaking 120 pounds, maybe. I to be 130 pounds.
Anyways, um... Yeah, that's it. That's all I can show you guys for now. Shows something different besides the Smash Brothers game that I keep playing every each day. We'll see in the next morning they'll play something else that doesn't involve kid friendly bull crap. Something that has a little bit of violence. And a bit of gore in that. And I have to hook it up on the GameCube. And hopefully there's enough memory for it. Never mind. So, see you guys next time. See you all later on, like usual. Have a great rest of your her day. Goodbye.